In this video, we present DeepThink, an AI-infused art-making system for digital art therapy. Art therapy is a form of psychotherapy that facilitates clients to express and communicate through art making. In recent years, digital technology has been increasingly adopted in its practice. However, only few explorations have designed art making interfaces tailored for art therapy, and the opportunity to leverage AI technologies is underexplored. To probe the human AI co creation in digital art therapy, we collaborated with a group of experienced art therapists for over 10 months to design and develop DeepThink. DeepThink is a web based system that has a responsive design so it fits with different types of devices and could be drawn with a mouse, fingers, and stylus. DeepThink can be used both synchronously and asynchronously. During the synchronous sections, users can create art pieces with DeepThink under the observations and consultations of art therapists. During the asynchronous sections, users can use DeepThink to finish the art therapy exercises and record their feelings which can be shared with the art therapist afterwards. Now let's see how users can interact with DeepThink to express themselves. Suppose Tom is depressed due to the pandemic, and his art therapist suggests he draws a dream holiday as part of the exercises to relieve the anxiety and stress. He opens DeepThink in his browser on his tablet and selects AI Brush. The default segmentation map is sky above and sea below. He then selects mountain and adjusts the size of the stroke to add a color bob. He is satisfied with the layout, so he clicks the Generate button. An AI-generated image is then shown on the preview canvas. He then wants to add some wind-blowing effects to the image as the sea is too calm. So he selects the styling tool and sees if any artistic styles could help him achieve that. By browsing each style, he thinks the Konagawa style seems to be a good choice. But he notices that the Konagawa style introduces some yellowish color, and he wants to get rid of it since he loves cooler colors. So he switches to the filtering tool to see if there is any filter that can help him shift the tones of the image. When he goes through each filter, he notices that the contrast filter quite meets his expectations. Now he thinks the environment looks great, and he would like to stay here to spend his vacation. Hence, he clicks the user brush to add the boat and himself to the image. He feels relaxed and peaceful after finishing the drawing. We first gather an understanding of the potential usages of DeepThink through expert reviews, with three registered art therapists. The therapists were invited to play with DeepThink and envision the potential values. Here are the sample artworks created by the art therapist. Then we conducted a two-part user evaluation. The first part aimed to mimic the asynchronous usage in art therapy. The second part included two art therapy sections which were led by the art therapist. Here are some sampled artworks created by the participants. The results suggest that DeepThink has the potential to lower the expertise threshold while enhancing users' creativity and expressivity. The longitudinal iterative design process helps us contextualize the design principles of human AI co-creation for art therapy and shed light on future research on relevant domains. For more information, please refer to our paper.